Hello everyone, this is Zayda Qolami from Agumet Self Research Lab and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to run independent samples t-test in SPSS. So um, I'm going to like explain this from scratch. I want to explain it from the step you will prepare your data. Okay, so this is my, you know, MT sheet and we will start. At first, I should tell you that in SPSS, it's so much different than Excel to run uh, this t-test okay this type of this t-test independent sample status so in uh, so in excel you used to have two columns of data and you would just uh, write your data from one to whatever and in the next um, column it would be your second group and you would uh, just fill in your data from one to whatever okay and then you would go to data analysis and you would run a t-test okay but in here uh, it's it's different so you will have the first variable as the independent one and the second one as in uh, as the dependent variable what does it mean it means that let's say you want to test if uh, the height of people in men's gender is higher than in female's gender okay then you would have the independent data as gender your independent variable as gender the type will be numeric with decimals i do not want decimals in here label i do not want to put label and in values you will go for one as male and two as female click ok and you do not have missing data let's say and in measure you have nominal for this one and then the second um, you know a variable will be the testing variable the dependent variable so for example i want to go for height in here the type would be also numeric i do not want decimals and you do not have categorical data in here so in uh, in independent variable the first variable you have categorical variable okay you define that which number uh, stands for which category but in here it's not like that and then the measure will be scale okay, so. then you will get into data view in gender you will have one or two one one or two okay and in height you will write the um related height to this categorical uh, sample data okay so i have prepared my sheet from before in here it's like this i have two variables independent dependent and then in data view i have uh, gender and height related to each uh, sample data so let's get into the next step now you have prepared your data correctly and now you will get into analyze and compare means independent samples t-test so in here the test variables will be the dependent variables so height will go in here and then the grouping variable is gender is the independent variable it goes in here and then as soon as you import your data to grouping variable you can see that uh, this uh, option define groups enables okay so i click on that and then i've written from before so then you will define your groups so my group one was male which was named as one and group two was female which named as two um you may be asked that since we have only two groups why should i define my group um specified values in here because in some cases you may have more than two uh, more than two groups and in here you just want to have 
two of them okay so maybe you have like um genders as um female male um straight you know not straight you know bisexual etc and and you have one two three four for them and you just want to um select two of them so that's why you should always define these group one and group twos i click continue and click ok so now you can see two tables are shown in here as a result of independent samples test and i'll start from here you can see the variable is height and i have male and female and uh the number of data for male is 33 37 for female the average value of them and standard deviation and standard error mean so what we want to do in here is that is to compare these averages together we want to see if they have significant different averages okay so now we will see um if they have or or they do not then the next table is independent samples test so you have height equal variances assumed and equal variances not assumed and then in here you can have you can see levin's test for equality of variances and t test for equality of means what does it mean in here you have two uh, rows that based on this test you will get into one of them so let's get into paint in order to use the results for this levels test and in order to see which one should you refer to because in here you can see the t statistic is different in equal variances assumed and not assumed so you should decide based on this data that which row should you consider as a result of this test okay so let's get into here let's say you have h0 no hypothesis as the variances of the a is equal to variance of b and then the alternative hypothesis is that variance of a is not equal to variance of b okay and then you refer to the significance in here that is uh, 0 0.72 so 0 0.72 and you will compare it with alpha level which is five percent five percent and you will compare it so you can see that this is bigger than five percent so that you can see that we do not have enough evidence in order to reject this null hypothesis and we should accept that so they are equal and we get into the first row so now we will continue with the first row which says equal variances assumed so then we get into our t-test so now we get into the main result of this test so you can just consider this significance for two-tailed okay so it's 0 0.025 in here now the null hypothesis is that the mean value of first group is equal to average of the second group and the null hypothesis says that they are significantly different okay now what do we have we have the p value as p as um 0 0.009 0 
yeah 0 0.025 and then the alpha is 0 0.05 so we know that this is smaller than this one so that the null hypothesis is rejected and the alternative one is accepted so we say that the averages of height between the two groups of male and female are significantly different so that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next videos and bye